Make sure you're comfortable. Today, we are going to imagine that we are painting a rainbow in the sky and your fingers are the paintbrushes. Start with your hands by your side and your palms facing forwards. Now, when you see the red band of the rainbow start to appear, keep your arms straight and trace it upwards with your paintbrushes. None of you are doing. Great. So now the red band is painted. Slowly bring I'm your arms down by your sides. Yeah. Now you need to match your breathing to your painting. So when you raise your hands up for the next colour, take a big breath in and you can breathe out when you bring your arms back down. Get ready for the orange to appear. Imagine we have dipped our paintbrushes into orange paint. So breathe in and lift the arms up and slowly back down as you breathe out. Now we're going to paint the yellow band. Imagine we have dipped our paintbrushes into the yellow paint. Breathe in as we paint the yellow band and lift your arms up. Now breathe out as you drop your arms down. Now the green band. Breathe in as we paint the green band. Arms up. And breathe out as you drop your arms down. Now the blue band. Breathe in as we paint the blue band, arms up. And breathe out as you bring your arms back down. Now the indigo band. Breathe in as we paint the indigo band, arms up. And breathe out as you bring your arms back down. And now for the final colour, violet. Breathe in and lift your arms up. And breathe out as your arms come down. Well done! Each time you paint the rainbow, the Okay, is, thank you. Is violet really that pinkish color? No, violet is purple. No. Yeah, they're all like sisters. And Indigo, violet, and purple. They're all sisters. They all have cousins. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay. So Indigo, what is that? I'm sure me. Chaitra and Gautam knows what the folklore is, right? Akshay, I don't what know what this is. I know what it is, but I don't know how to explain it. It's I don't know hard. what this is. Okay, I'm going to call names, only they will be talking, okay, today. Akshay, Nana, your audio is working? Yes, ma'am, it's good. Okay, great. So, have you heard the word folklore, Akshay, before? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, all right. So, Gautam, what about you? I don't know this word. I never heard of it and I don't even know what it means. Okay. So the literal meaning of folk is people and folklore, lore is uh, study. Okay. So maybe you can call it uh, like study of people. But let's not take these terms literally. Okay. So, okay. So that is what from my end. Uh, Chaitra, you told you know what it is, right? What do you know about it? That's okay. It can be vague. I don't know how to explain it I okay tell me a few terms that comes to your mind don't explain just give me words there's usually kind of like magic okay good and hmm. imaginary things okay yeah certainly that's one of one kind of the folk folklore okay i am i'm sure you've heard of what fables are Fantasy yeah. stuff, uh, fiction, non-fiction, fairy tales, right? I know uh, really good what fables are. All right. So you know what all this, they all come under under the umbrella term called folklore. 
So what is the umbrella term for all these kinds of stories? Folklore. Yeah. All right, like I just said, folklore, folk tales. So they are fairy tales, fables, and myths, and tall tales. Now, each of you are going to give me examples of each of this. Like you can just be, you know, random. I don't mind. They can be correct, incorrect. I don't mind. I just want you all to open up and tell. So maybe I'll just write it for you all. What are the types I just mentioned? I got one. Okay. So once again. Um, hmm. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> okay. One second. For the fables, you forgot one thing. What is it, Nana? When you were listing what fables were, you just said animals were characters. So but there's animals a lot, there's a lot to it. I just wanted to, you know, precisely tell you what it exactly means or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but usually the animals are talking animals. Just saying. all right. So, like I said, this is what. Uh, these are the types. So now, Akshay, I would like to start from you. Do you know what any of this? You can give me examples. You can explain me any of it that you know. But I want you all to be real mindful, okay? Yeah, Nana, pick any of it. Uh, I'll pick fairy tales. Great, okay. What do you know about fairy tales? Uh, like, they always have a magic or something like that. Great, magic is one element. Okay, and? And they're not True stories. Okay, great. They're not true stories. Amazing. And what else? Can you give me an example of fairy tale, Nana? Uh, uh, Cinderella. Good. Okay. Uh, Gautam, your turn. Pick one. Myth. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. All right, so a myth is like what people believe. For example, some people believe that there's these two people named Adam and Eve who that they're the first people on the, the earth. Mm -hmm. And what else do you know about myth? Like what is their uh, storyline or maybe uh, you can like uh, call it, uh, what is their, um, like what is the setup, story setup? Anything, like let's let's talk about the story since you already know. Okay. You're muted, Gautam. I wasn't talking to you. Yes, okay, so now you can talk to me. So um, what am I supposed to say? Oh, you told myths there partly right. Mm. Okay, so Chetra, what am I get supposed to you, Nana? Okay. Okay. So, Chaitra, do you want to say anything? Uh, I want to say why. Uh, what... uh, hi, Akshaya. So, this is Akshaya. Okay. Okay. I thought it was a different one. Uh, anyway, tall tales and fairy tales. What's the What's the difference? What is the positive? What is the difference between tall tales and fairy tales? Tall tales, okay. Uh, Gautam, I think you can just maybe give us a quick uh, example or explanation for tall tales. I'm sure you all thought you did. Do you remember? What tall tales are, but I'm not getting what the difference. No, no, no. I, I want him to talk a little bit, and of course, I'll get back to your question. Yeah. Gautam? Are you there? Can you please yeah. sit in here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So, okay. So, uh, Chaitra, go ahead and talk about fables. Quick, 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 be guys. I know you all know what it, what they are. Fables. Paragraph. Um, they're usually like a paragraph. Of, mm -hmm. um, very short stories. Mm -hmm. They usually have talking animals. Mm -hmm. And only like one or two main characters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you just quickly read? <laughs> well, okay. yeah. yeah. So yeah. yes, like Chaitra told, uh, also there's the short stories. They have morals to the stories. Okay. Now I want you all to use chat and give me one quick story name for people. Example, all of you. Of what? So, feeble, feeble examples. Fable. Okay. And Myth. And tall tales are nothing but, uh, you know, they are real life, like we talk about heroes and, you know, they are real incidents. But a lot of times, you know, they sound like they're too much, like does it even exist? Uh, so if I remember it correctly, I did a story with Gautam called Hindi. Yeah, Gautam? So myths. Myths are just things that. No, 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 not believe. myth. That's a tall tale. I did a story, uh, Henry, with you. Yes, Chaitra, the tortoise and hare. And guys, guys, be fast. I am sure you know a lot of them. Okay. So you can just read like, uh, yes, Akshay, good job. Like, you know, they are mostly, uh, you know, like with magic and then the stories begin with once upon a time and it is always between good and evil. There's a bit of magic like pumpkin in uh, Cinderella and like, you know, long hair like Rapunzel. So, you know, these are all the stories. So happily ever after. So the prince find the princess by all means and by all by any cost, and um, they live happily ever after. And yes, like Chaitra said, they are mostly animal characters. Otherwise, you know these animals behave like human beings or have the qualities and abilities of uh, human beings. They talk and. Uh, uh, you know, these are like short stories. So that's something that you all have to remember. And they all come up with definitely, by all means, a moral. Okay, that's those are moral stories. So the animals are basically personified. Yes, right. And but because the animals start speaking up by themselves, because the mouse and the lion speaks and they become friends and all that. I didn't get any examples except for uh, Chaitra. What about Gautam? Are you in the class? Can you please finish those businesses? Okay. Later? So myths like could take like they tell stories about set in like ancient times, maybe like about three billion years ago, and they also talk about god and goddesses. Yeah, right. So they are like supernatural. Now you can see this, uh, you know, um, like there are a lot of superwoman and all that, right? So they have this nice crown, like, uh, what is this Wonder Woman, right? So don't you think that's more like they, they brought in her concept on design and everything, like she looks like somebody from Greece and all. So yeah, that is mostly, these stories are set up in ancient times, or old, old, like really, really old times. So these are about myths. Like Adam and Eve is a very good example. And Chaitra, I, I hope you know, you also know a story. Um, in fairy tale or myth? Myth, myth. Uh, Pandora, you remember? Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, Pandora is an example of it. And uh, actually, I, know about I did myths with you, right? Oh, I thought Nilakshi did that with me. Yeah, but I did with Akshaya. You remember we did a myth together? You muted Nana. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So oh. what story did we do? You remember? Yes, we did Pandora. Yeah, yeah, Pandora, yes, right. 
you know, like I said, tall tales are typically true stories, but very hyped and exaggerated stories. Okay. Yeah, Chaitra. Amen. I'm sorry, you mu muted, Nana. Imagine if someone wanted to write a tall tale and then they heard the name. So they're like, okay, I guess it has to be tall. So they take like a big sheet of paper and they start writing from the top and it goes like that. Oh my God, you're amazing. You have a very good creative brain. <laughs> oh, what happened to this video, guys? One second. You know the video name, right? Uh, uh, there's a technical glitch. Just give me one minute and I'll come back to the video. If you can't fix it, just go to YouTube and play the video. And uh, Gautam, I asked you to send you send stories and you guys example to table and you guys haven't like sent except uh, Chaitra. What? <laughs> So I just want you all to give me another minute. I am getting to the video. Okay, yeah, here it is. You look so busy doing nothing. And I mean to say read while you're watching. That's what I mean to say. There's no voiceover or something, so you guys have to read. And then I think I already saw this video. Okay, good, Chaitra. Then you can watch it again and help us. I don't remember it, though. I just um, remember the owl. Okay. Read, read. fantasy characters include? Can anyone say? Witches, wizards, fairies, princesses, princes and princesses, kings and queens, knights, dragons, talking animals, angels and devils, goblins and trolls, elves, gnomes, unicorns. I mean, I think elves is like we, we get to see in Snow White and witches and wizards and um, fairies and also in Cinderella. I thought there were dwarfs in Cinderella. Elves, dwarves, elves, you know, maybe like there are versions of it that talks about both dwarves and elves. 
Yeah, talking animals. Do you recall any uh, fairy tale that has talking animals? Uh, Akshya? No? Cinderella. Oh, the cat, rat talks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Beauty and the Beast also. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm not, I'm not talking to you, please. Whenever I'm on mute, I'm not talking to you. I know you're not talking to me, but you're also not reading. The whole point of displaying this video is that you get, you guys are reading it, okay? But I see you not read it. So kindly read now. Okay. what it is okay thank you let me just switch what is the chronicles of narnia is it Nana? and the okay, chronicles of narnia narnia is uh it's like i have watched the movies you know uh, movie versions of it okay so I'm going to give you all a nice, a small activity, but I, I, I would like you guys to take it as a homework, okay? I want a nice perspective, uh, you know, criticizing and supporting arguments from you, you know, from your end, Chaitra, Gautam, and Akshaya, all right? Where do you think, and do you think, is it, do you think, you know, is it essential to, uh, uh, or useful to engage the world in fantasy? I want you all to give me yes, no answers, both. Why do you think yes? Why do you think no? And if you think it is both, just give your arguments. But I want you all to think positives and the negatives of it. Okay? What do you mean engage? Uh, like, you know, there are some things that we learn about people, right? From the characters. Yeah. Right. So maybe stories and all, we learn a lot just not one thing so that is all uh, I know a lot of like when you talk about uh, fables like we learn some morals and all like how to act how to behave things like that like that isn't it so, you know there's fake just to use a lot more of it and then you know to educate or to maybe uh, okay. Okay, now uh, just take a screenshot of this. Uh, take it as a homework. Write out paragraph. Right. No, in any there is no to find structure to it. Free flow. I want you all to uh, think. But do you think it's necessary or not necessary? Okay, Gautam, are you here in the class? Ah. Uh. Okay, great. Have you taken a screenshot of this, Akshaya? Show me a thumbs up. No, I can't take a screenshot on this thing. Okay. All right, then I'll send you a... Chaitra, can you help me send him a screenshot later after the class? Okay. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll send you a screenshot that I took so you can send it to him. Okay. Or I can just send it directly to him. Yeah, you can do that. Please do that on my behalf. All right, thank you. So, reading comprehension and critical thinking. So, I have books with you. There's a little drawing activity. I'm not going to spend more than four minutes on it. Now, when I say one inch boy, how do you imagine it? He started drawing. Oh my god. Okay, do you want if you want to use the screen? Please feel free to use the screen. I don't mind. 
or if you want to nice drop a point on your book also you're welcome to do that wait i know what it looks like hold on let me annotate chaitra <laughs> and uh, akshay you as well can use this space so i guess it's just a boy without a body <laughs> <laughs> okay so no details at all about him no i just imagine he's a boy well without a boy with no body okay no no be fast akshay chaitra are you drawing it here on your book we don't have much time just like you know we are spending like about uh, okay three then minutes. i'll just do it in my book it's kind of hard to draw on my book okay, okay. Got the mad details to your uh, one inch boy. I feel like he's just a boy without a body because that's what can imagine what a one inch person looks like. But there's no details at all. He doesn't have a face. He doesn't have anything. What about his eyes, hands? Details would be really nice. Can we draw it bigger than he's supposed to be? Because it's kind of hard to draw it that small. Yeah, see, I'm I'm telling you, your version of one inch. I'm not telling it's supposed to be one inch. I just want to, you know, you guys to see. So this guy has taken the meaning literally, Gautam. Akshay, we don't have much time. Okay, Nana, we'll wrap it up in like uh, two, three minutes max. We'll keep drawing while you are listening to a story, maybe if you want to. Okay, so he has like some hair and some just eyes, no nose and a mouth. He is very large, large arms. <laughs> any like gautam is done now uh, you can have him start reading i'm finished okay anu okay so while they are drawing he can read it out i think they are good listen anyways so i'll just why i will give you a little uh, intro to this story and a background of it so we adopted we adopted the story as a uh, one inch boy but uh, this is originally written uh, in uh, by by a japan by a, in japanese okay uh, so the original title of the story is ishu boshi is what it's pronounced as okay but in an english adaptation we call it one inch boy all right so here it is i'm going to take this boy through entire representation good drawing good il uh, illustration gautam well done okay in japan no woman in japan okay. and, and, woman and what woman. are the rules for reading gautam slow yes just be read mindful and pace your reading okay yeah okay. in japan a nod woman and a nod man wish for a child to fill, fill their day with happiness One day the man found the basket by his doorway. Tucked snugly in the basket was a finger-sized child. The man called to his wife and they they got brought the basket into the house. What should we call this wonderful child? asked the wife. Here's our own one-inch boy, said the husband, and that will be his name. The father made tiny chairs, a table and a bed for his son. The mother cooked grains of rice and put them in a bowl the husband had carved from wood. Each day the one-inch boy became stronger but he never grew bigger. All right. Okay. Thank you for reading. Wait. Um. 
Okay. Summarize the prepare passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just check. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, I want your ears here. I know that you're into drawing, but then have your ears here, uh, ears here as well. Capture and Chaitra. So, how is he? He's tucked in a nice, small, tall, or whatever a cloth, and he's put in in front of the door, right? And then what happened, Gautam? They wanted a child to fill their lives, but then and then for some reason they they got a child delivered to their house, and then. They started making things for him. Yeah, so there are many versions of the story that says that, you know, after great worship and all, he's given his gift of God and things like that. Okay, so but the story says that he's just left uh, at, uh, at their door and they bring in the house, they bring inside the house and father decides the name and he's called what? One inch boy. Because he's literally one inch. And then mother brings in some food and cooks uh, grains for him um, yeah grains of rice for him and each day he started to grow stronger but he never grow bigger which means in terms of height they mean all right okay Chaitra again pace your reading just yeah. go in slow that's okay what I want you to read this Chaitra. Go a little slow. Pace your reading. Rode on father's shoulder when they went. One second. Where are you reading? From the top. One second. Okay. Even though one inch boy was very small, he was helpful. He crawled under the table and chairs and found whatever was lost. He brought in blades of grass that could be dry and woven into mats and shoes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Read with interest, Chetra, come close. Even though one inch boy was very small, he was helpful. He crawled down, he crawled under the table and found whatever was lost. He brought in blades of grass that could be dried and woven into mats and shoes. He rode on his father's shoulder when they went to the forest and pointed out fallen leaves that could be gathered for firewood. Fifteen years went by. One day, one inch boy said to his parents, I want to go to Kyoto to seek my fortune, if you will allow it. Fortune is oh. real. What does that mean? Sorry to break you. It's like it's like your luck and your yeah, kind of you know what's awaiting for him in the future. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How could we manage without you? Said the mother. Indeed, said his father. You have given so how would you, Chaitra? Mother is worried. So I want you to act like a mother now. Yeah. Read like a mother. How could we manage without you, said the mother? That's what my mother does when she's reading a story because she's <laughs> tired. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. <laughs> Indeed, said his father. First, you sit straight. Don't uh, do that round, round. I'm also tempted to do what you're doing. Indeed, said Come his close to your monitor. Indeed, said his father, you have given us great hope and joy. Although his parents did not want one inch boy to leave, he persisted. Finally, they agreed. His father found a small liquor, 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 liquor. liquor bowl. One inch boy could use as a bowl. His mother cut out oars from the chopsticks gave him a sewing needle sword in a, in a straw scabbard. Okay, so here, like, what it means is that, you know, like, there's just made a small bowl. He's too tiny to travel, right? So they made, uh, they made uh, you know, a small bowl that he can just, uh, you know, sit in, and then uh, the chopsticks are given to 
uh, they given as we row the boat, right? The sticks that we use to row the boat. Yeah. So he used to ride in the boat, in the boat, right? Mm -hmm. So even if he's standing up, I want, I beg to wonder if he's, um, if he's actually, if he's actually taller than the bull, because usually bulls are taller than one inch, but he's only one inch tall. So yeah, that's how it is. Then let's imagine. It depends. Best of your imagination, best of your ability to imagine, you can imagine how would have managed to go from this place to the, the city. Maybe they had ordered specifically small bulls for him. Exactly. That's 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 what it says. Right, his father made it for him. His father made it for him. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that part. Uh, can you read again the last para? Like real quick. His father found. Not made. Ma made, found. Okay. All right. Akshaya, you listening, Nana? All right. We'll move on. Do you guys have any doubts? Yes. How would a sewing needle even be useful in battle and what is a scabbard? So, like, uh, you know, it's just he's very small, right? So he just need things to rescue himself from this anything that comes up. So that's just his weapon to, you know, save himself from things. Okay. Like what? No one will get hurt. By this is not real, Akshaya. This that's the reason for the reason they call fantasies. Okay. There's it's nothing not real in that. this. It could be like small bugs, teeny tiny bugs, or another one inch girl or something. What? It Actually, later in the story, he kills uh, you know a small bee with the needle. Okay. So later you will see how this needle also as well as useful for him. All what? right. Scabbard. What is it, Nana? A scabbard. I'll get back to you with the meaning, okay? Okay. Okay. Chaitra, do you want to read? Oh, sorry, uh, Akshay, do you want to read? Yeah. Nana, not audible, just... Uh... Ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 good. One inch set off down the river in the bowl, he had put his sword and blessing for his parents. He promised to send for his parents as soon as he had made his fortune. All went well during the first day of the journey then the weather changed uh, tremendous winds tremendous winds and rain to tossed tossed the bowl from one side of the river to the other the one in boy Try to row to shore, but the waves made by the boat um, swamp the bowl. Swamp the bowl. Enough of drawing. What? Enough of drawing. You need to listen to the story, please. I am listening to the story. I don't think you are. <laughs> so, uh, Hello, Chaitra. Can you please uh, keep your pencil down? Then I'll give you all you know time to finish your drawing. Okay, that's just okay. part of the activity, Chaitra. That's not very important. Okay, Chalo. Yeah, go ahead, Nana. Good, Akshaya. Yeah. And one inch boy was sure he would drown. Help, help! He called out when he had gave up hope. A lot. And pull him from his boat. What is this? The boatman curled out. Curled out. A boy, no finger. 
what are you doing on this dangerous trip? So one second, Akshay. I want Gautam to try this. So the man is quite surprised, okay? To his lifetime, you would have not seen a boy who is the size of a finger, right? So what would his, you know, his reaction be, Gautam? How he would be reading this? Well, so he went, he, so he's going, he's like going to, he's doing a journey and then, and then like, and then he like met a boatman or something. And no, then, Gautam, I just want you to read those two lines. What is this? What the is boatman this? cried out that one. What is this? The boatman cried out. A boat boy no bigger than my finger. What are you doing on this dangerous river? <laughs> Good. Okay. Hmm. What? What did you ask? Nothing. Just look at the screen. Listen to us, okay? Yeah, Aksha. I was on my way to Kyoto. Kyoto to seek my fortune. One inch boy said, "What a." I think I'll get back to you once it is over, okay? Mm. What a coincidence, said the boatman. I too was on my way to Kyoto. Kyoto, it's the same city. It's my bad. Like there was a spelling error. Yeah. Kyoto to sell a load of wood. Come with me and we shall go to the city together. Okay. So what really happened? Akshay, you want to quickly summarize it for us or you want me to summarize it for you all? Uh, Ma'am, I'll summarize. Okay, good. Go ahead. Uh, like after the one inch boy left, the first day was fine. The second day was like the weather changed and there was a lot of wind and rain. The water fell into the boat and he almost went before a um, a man found him. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll thank you, Nana. So the the climate wasn't the same. Things are in the same. One day passed by nicely, smoothly, but things turned out a little violent. The wind was, you know, strong, and then his boat got into water upside down and whatever but things are not very normal right and then what happened he was pulled out by a other boatman and then he's quite surprised to see somebody who's just a length of his finger right and then both of them went to the city together okay oh that's more ahead like really fast okay Gautam your turn One inch boy was very grateful. One the long ride twice. in the ball had been very One tiring. Second. And thanks to the boatman. One second, I know. Okay. Hmm. One inch boy was very grateful. The long ride in the ball had been very tiring. As thanks to the boatman, one inch boy mended the net bag using for carrying the wood. In Kyoto, the, he did bid the boatman goodbye as he set out to see the city. Before he long, he came to a beautiful place, palace. One inch boy easily slipped through the spaces of the iron fence and pounded on the palace doors. Noble Lord, can you give me shelter while I seek my fortune? He called. A gray man was dressed in silk robes, opened the door and looked around him. I thought I heard someone, but there is no one. Okay. <laughs> Chaitra, were you listening? Can you explain me what just happened? So I want you all to tell us, not read. So yeah. So he bid the person he bid the fisherman goodbye and mm -hmm. he went to the he went to the he went to the um, he went to the fortune person. Mm -hmm. um, he went to fortune person. Yeah. The person who told the fortune. Oh no! Wait. He went. He went to somewhere. Some someone else's house. 
and he went to he he saw a beautiful palace okay so and then he stopped by he just slipped in he slided in because he's too tiny to know to, to be noticed okay next uh, and they uh, he they asked someone if they got food he asked if where he can find the fortune telling person so, no, no, no. Here you only told me, right, to seek my fortune. He just wants to see what's awaiting, okay? So he's just want to stay around and see what's there. And then he asked somebody else. And, you know, noble lord is what is written here. He seeked for uh, some shelter and food, like, you know, until you, you give me some food and shelter, and then I'll stay around and help them with some work, okay? Okay, I didn't... I didn't hear the food and water. That's because you're drawing. So multitasking is good, but sometimes not really good, okay? So yes. I want you to really now stop, close the drawing. Let's listen to the story, finish the story, do things around the story, and then you can get back to the drawing, yeah? Can you just give me a minute? Chaitra, that's not really important. If it is important, I would have asked you to draw, okay? I know, oh. I'll give you, I'll give you that extra minute towards the end. Oh, he, he went up to a person who was in nice robe silks, right? And then he asked that, you know, I thought I heard someone, but he couldn't see because the one inch boy is too tiny to be noticed, okay? Yeah. Hmm, uh, Gautam. Yeah, down here, good sir. I will serve you well for food and a place to stay. The gray man picked up one inch boy. Well, you have courage and you ask for little of your services. Stay here with me if you will. One inch boy thanked the great man and made himself at home. Everyone in the household marveled at his service. They gave him all he wished for. On a spring afternoon, the noble's daughter carried on carried one inch on inch boy and on the on a walk. Her guards and ladies and um, uh, her guards and ladies in waiting accompany them company. as they pass company. by a dense forest. An organ what do you made, mean by accompanied? Hmm, accompanied them. going with them, okay. Yeah. As so they walked by a dense forest. Mm, 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 all right. As they passed a dense forest from an, an orgy rock roared from his hiding um, from his hiding place behind the trees. He grabbed the normal daughter. He grabbed the normal's daughter. He, her ladies in waiting fled, and so did the guards. One inch boy spoke. Leave this beautiful lady alone, or you should feel my sword. One inch boy unsheathered his sword and struck the orge. Okay, now so what just happened? The is what there is a chance to. Yeah. Hmm, wait. Now he has, uh, yeah, yeah, Chaitra, what is it? Why didn't his parents send him with any money? <laughs> why didn't he, why didn't they send with any money? Yeah. Like because how he's old enough to manage by, you know, things by himself. So that's... Yeah, but he's not going to be on, but you don't have to start anything without having any money at first, right? Maybe. It's not like you can beg on the streets, hey, give me some food, give me some money, uh, I'll pay you back, nothing, bye. Okay, so you know, this is how things used to be in olden days, okay, Jaitra? And uh, the word covered means, it's nothing but, you know, uh, a small, like, it, it is the size, the size varies, but the weapon or the tool is made with oh so well uh, leather okay so it's not iron or steel or many metal but it is purely made up of leather and it's kind of a weapon all right okay so it's time for him to be a hero and uh, akshay did you hear the last few lines yes ma'am so what happened anna when they were out on a walk Like somebody came mm -hmm. and they tried to hurt the a girl, so the one inch boy told him to get away. Okay, 
so he is too tiny but then he did he managed to tell that to just be away from the lady okay okay yeah all right uh go ahead nana akshaya Scratching the beast, tingling like you know he's tingling, and you know how to tingle, right? I'm sure Gautam knows. See, look, I can see him smile. Gautam, can you please show your face? Yeah, and Chaitra, can you please sit on the chair? Chairs are meant to sit, Nana. Hmm. Tingling and scratching when he reached the ogre. I'm sorry, it sneezed. Uh, so when when there's something that's inside, you know, when you have cold or something, do you see something tingling sensation? You sneeze and all that happens, right? It's the same. The boy, you know, when the one inch boy went inside his mouth, you know, these are the various reactions that you, you, you know, that you are noticing here. Okay. Creature sneezed and one inch boy flew out. And the wonder oh, Did? Uh, Akshay, are you reading, Nana? Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, now I can hear you. As the wounded ogre built to run back into the forest, he dropped his charm necklace on the ground. One inch by put the charm around his neck, then he made a wish. Immediately, he was transformed into a tall, handsome nobleman. Okay. So he dared to fight that, fight him, okay. And when he was left with the, the he was left with a nice necklace and what made, what wish did he make? He made a wish to become? Tall. Tall, handsome person. Okay, Chaitra, let's do it fast. Um, in the, in that, in that thing, um, the ogre's, the beast necklace, it should be like way bigger than, than the one inch boy himself. How did he even wear it? <laughs> Those are too realistic, okay? That's reality, but we are in the world of fantasy. So everything and anything works. It's something that, you know, we all should understand. Okay. In return for saving his daughter. Come on, Chetra, go ahead, read fast. In return for saving his daughter, the great lord in, in the palace offered one inch boy half of his lands. His daughter happily agreed to marry one inch boy as he had promised. Mm -hmm. Louder. In return of saving the great lord in the, in the palace, in, in return for saving his daughter, the great lord. 
happily agreed to marry one inch boy as he had promised one inch boy sent for his parents they all lived happily the rest of their years so the boy got transformed maybe okay so yes so you all have any questions after you read the story yeah did he did he did his parents move there or did they see him on the holidays what Peter, what do you think did they move there i don't know oh, sorry sorry akshay what do you think i'm sorry <laughs> what do you think nana i think their parents moved there okay okay gautam i read the answer is there you still guys are like going around yeah i don't know i think this is like a fable or a fairy tale i don't understand what sent for means does that mean the sent of a postcard so yeah so uh as he promised one inch boy sent for his parents yes they all came back to one place okay and what are the other questions gautam do you have any questions regarding the story so he went no. this house behind the river yeah maybe we all can imagine that so i just want uh... okay uh, so like he kept his promise he sent uh, he sent the money to his parents okay all right uh gautam and akshay do you have any questions regarding the story we actually no. have another activity uh, but then i'm just wondering if we can complete this wait is this class going to end soon because i have another class with pranay after this yes sir uh anu do you want me to uh, just drop gautam and go ahead with akshay and chaitra no i think um hold on one second akshay can you continue the class could you check with your mom about if you are able to continue for another half an hour there is more it's just a little more but then i think that that is the most interesting part but i want dinner i also want dinner <laughs> we'll get and i want lunch because i have to do 